Hey Fixers, I'm Nick and I work on the line crew here in Knoxville. You know, walking up and down the ramp all day, I get to see a lot of pretty sweet colors, which might make you wonder which one's my favorite. But it's pretty obvious though, isn't it? Blue. Blue's my favorite. Anyway, learning's a lifestyle. Let's start the show. Nice. Dude, where's the prop lever? Great question. Dude, here's your fly fix. What? Fly fix. Welcome to the Serious Approach Flight Fix, the bite-sized flight training show dedicated to pilots who never stop learning. When you step into a Cirrus SR Series airplane for the very first time, you're gonna notice plenty of things that differentiate it from just about every other airplane out there, largely because if you think about it, the SR Series came about as a totally original clean sheet design, a design that was modern and centered around the pilot and passengers with simplicity, safety, and comfort as really the core guiding design principles. And while there's a bunch of cool things that make a Cirrus a Cirrus, for example, sleek fixed composite tricycle landing gear, side stick control yokes, the parachute caps, state-of-the-art avionics integration, all the things that I personally love, well, one of the first things that I noticed when I stepped into a Cirrus for the first time was the obvious absence of a prop lever. You know that knobbly blue lever that's usually centered right there between the throttle and mixture on a lot of other aircraft? Well, the reason why it's missing in a Cirrus is pretty interesting and worthy of a discussion. So, I think we answer that question on this episode. In a Cirrus, where'd the prop lever go? Well, actually, let's answer it in our favorite pretend aviation wonderland workshop. Meet me in the hangar. So let's first start with a little propeller systems background to help prop up the conversation, really. Are we still doing puns? Producer says we're still doing puns. If it's what the kids want, I guess. So let's move on. The most basic propeller system is the fixed pitch propeller. Now that just means that it's installed in a fixed position, which means it can't rotate longitudinally, which means the propeller blade can't change its pitch angle, which means it can't be controlled by the pilot. So there's really no cockpit control in that case. Simple, but less efficient in flight because it can't adapt for changes in airspeed and aerodynamic loads. So then, enter the variable pitch propeller. The propeller for all. The 10-speed bike of propeller systems, if you will. With a controllable, variable pitch, constant speed propeller, the pilot can manually set the propeller blade angle to achieve whatever engine, propeller, RPM they want, and then the system's going to automatically maintain that RPM even if airspeed changes. It's a great system. The point of such a system is to maximize propeller efficiency as it relates to changes in airspeed across various phases of flight. So basically, setting a lower blade angle at higher RPM for climbs where you just really need a ton of more aggressive thrust and increasing the blade angle to cause a more streamlined, lower RPM, allowing the prop to sort of dig in or bite into more air for high speed, lower drag cruise phases. In most airplanes, the pilot controls blade angle manually with that blue handled prop lever that's usually between the throttle and the mixture controls. And if you've ever flown an airplane with a prop lever, and it's okay if you have, it's fine, we forgive you, you'll know that it's usually bouncing back and forth between essentially just two settings, really, two positions. And they're kind of tailored to work well for takeoff climb landing and then cruise descent phases. So kind of those two different sets of phases. So this brings us back to the original question. Where'd the prop lever go in a Cirrus SR Series aircraft? And really, why? Wait, what's that? He's on the line. I'm being told I'm being told we have a real life Cirrus engineer and his giant brain available right now to help us answer the exact question about where and why on the prop lever. Wait a minute. I'm also being told that before we do that, I need to remind you that 
This episode of The Flight Fix is brought to you by the Cirrus Approach Cross Country Procedures Course. For you VFR Cirrus flyers, there's no better way to get prepped for your ultimate long distance Cirrus adventure than to follow along on a real beach trip scenario to learn from the experts how to plan and fly the safest and best darn VFR cross country of your Cirrus life. Three hours of colorful, detailed video training goodness oh, boy, oh. is ready for you right now simply by signing up at cirrusapproach.com. And with that, let's go to Cirrus Engineer Austin on our Totally Pretend satellite feed. Thanks, Potini. At Cirrus, our number one guiding design philosophy is safety. So that's our objective, to have the safest airplane out there. And our biggest strategy to hit that objective is simplicity. So an airplane that's simple to operate, that's simple in its design and construction, is going to be a safer airplane. Any part has to earn its way on this airplane. So if you look at a Cirrus cockpit, it looks a little different than the other GA cockpits out there. And that design principle of simplicity is a big reason. If we think a little bit about what does a constant speed propeller do for us, so it allows us to set the blade angle that gives us the best engine power that we want matched to the airspeed of the airplane. The parts propellers that we have on our airplanes are really good design such that that sweet spot in the efficiency curve is pretty flat. That allowed us to look at what are the most common prop settings that we would use. We need a low pitch, high RPM setting to get maximum horsepower out of the engine for takeoff and climb when we're at slow speeds. For cruise, we're gonna be at a much higher airspeed, reduced engine power. So we wanna bring the RPM back a little bit and allow that to get the maximum efficiency. From a Cirrus perspective, the benefit of a simpler cockpit, less things for the pilot to manage, far outweighed the complexity of having to add another prop control. That's the, the deep secret on why we don't have a prop control on a Cirrus and gives you a little insight to the design philosophy that we have at Cirrus. How's that work for you, Botini? That is pretty neat. So for the record, what Austin's saying there is that this single power lever, as you kind of follow it down underneath all the pretty leather and stuff, well, it has two cables connected to it at the same time. First, you have the throttle control cable, which gives you a direct connection to engine power output. And second, riding along this notched slot is the propeller control. Here's how it looks in action. As you begin the takeoff roll and push the power lever forward, this clever little notch bumps your propeller RPM up to 2700 RPM, giving you a nice, efficient, low pitch blade angle for a high RPM takeoff and climb, which is maximizing your thrust for that takeoff and climb phase. Then, once you settle into cruise and power is just sort of naturally pulled back and reduced by the pilot to more of a sustainable, you know, kind of lower cruise setting, say about 75% or so, well, once again, through that power lever interconnect, RPM automatically drops to a higher pitch, sort of less draggy and more cruise worthy, 2,500 RPM. So even though the whole process is so automatic that it would almost seem like a computer is running it or something, really the entire thing just works off a clever mechanical relationship rigged at a very specific ratio to one sleek unified lever, the power lever. And that's gonna allow RPM to reach two pre-calibrated settings, optimized for the two most common phases of flight so that you, the Cirrus pilot, don't even have to think about it. It's pretty cool, right? And for those turbo drivers out there, well, it gets even more simple. Engineering and flight testing determined that a constant speed, 2,500 RPM, full time, all the time, gives that sporty, snorty, turbocharged aeronautical wonder machine all the performance and efficiency that one could ever need. So on that one, no prop control is needed in that configuration at all. There you go, mystery solved. Thanks to superstar Cirrus engineer Austin Merch for the insights and well, at least now we know where the heck the prop lever went. As always, let us know what you think of the episode in the comments, and you can help us crowd boost the show's popularity by following, liking, subscribing on the big internet place, and to really get after us, send questions, pointing critiques, or loving praise to learning at cirrusaircraft.com. Remember, learning is a lifestyle, and we'll see you at the next fix.